Alright, say what you want, Leon, but all your questions have been answered and the truth will be revealed. What happened? The closing argument. Alright, yeah, absolutely. Tell me about that. Every case has one last element to bring the class trial to an end. This is the closing argument. In this phase, you, you'll you give a complete summary of the case. You'll have to reproduce the flow of the event for a case of form of a comic book. However, you'll notice that in the comic book there are a number of pieces missing. It's up to you to complete the comic using, uh, using the provided truth panels. Also, if you take aim at the missing section and press the X button, holy cow, you get a hint that might actually lead to the breakthrough. Okay. Alright. Climax interference, what? Finish the through, okay. Ooh, okay, this looks cute. Uh, oh shit, okay, I have 20 minutes. And I have plenty of shit to deal with. Okay, so there's a burn thing. Right, it's a good thing that these things are detailed and all. So, uh, what's going on here in the before? So there are definitely some missing pieces here. Hold on, wait, hold on, wait, whoa, 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 wait a minute, whoa, whoa, wait a fucking minute. Why is everything going backwards? Why is it... Wait, why is the end of the murder on the left side and the, what the fuck? Are we going from right to left like manga styled? Okay. Oh, that's gonna be really confusing. Okay, so it's right to left, not left to right. Oh, that's gonna be fucking weird. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, blah, 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 blah. All right, so act one. Um, so door opening, the guy. So it's also question mark. Huh, I'm gonna attack you and all that. Okay, so hold on a minute. So let's see here. That's that. I think. All right. So yeah, the uh, open the door, close the door. Attacks. Oh boy, this is gonna get real confusing. What is that exactly? Is that a kill? Wait, hold on. We could always like move somewhere else, right? Okay, so act two. So she hid inside the thing. Or wait, what was this? Okay, this is the burnt cloth that threw the ball. Okay. Uh, Chris the ball. Drop the knife. Drop the sword. Oh my god, this is gonna get really confusing later on. Okay, so let me try this again. Uh, let's not go from right to left because that might be a little bit. Let's con let's figure out the ones that we already know. Okay. So anyway, so that that. So blah blah. Uh, she's scared shitless. And uh, oops. Whoa. Okay, so left and right does that in case I'm. Uh, okay. So what's this thing with the uh... I'm guessing he broke the thing. Alright, so this goes here. At least I'm assuming. So far the game's not punishing me yet, so I might have some things differently. Uh, ah, oh, 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 snappy stabby, and uh... Okay, so obviously the Leon has to be here. And the roller of paint. Uh, where is that? Bam. Next page. Oh shit, oops. God damn it, left and right, fuck, okay. Uh, that. And, uh, tie the ball into the knot. Throw the ball in. Bam. He left the room and... Where's the fucking... This thing is still left burning because it dropped. Shit, okay. So, yeah, we got all the essentials, hopefully. Uh, blend paint, okay. So, what are we missing here? Whatever happened here? Okay, the sword. Right. She did flick the sword, the knife dropped. So, the knife dropping. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Left. Oh, my God, this is getting real confusing. Okay. Uh, there's a sword behind him, the culprit. Right on the D-pad, fuck. So... Wait, wait, oops, no, 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 oops. This one goes here. And then he grabbed the sword, and then he tried to... Wait, what? Huh? Wait, what is this thing for? Or, wait, does this look like she's... Her wrist is... Okay, so... That goes there. And whatever this happened here... What? Alright, what are the picks that we haven't used yet? Okay, so... No, 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 derp. Tried to use a sheath, but... 
Reenact? Wait, hold on. Why, 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 why are we reenacting? I thought we were missing one. Yeah, there's one pick left unless it's tricking us and there's no other. Okay, so yeah. So she dropped the knife. Well, she has to drop the knife eventually, right? So, blah. Let's move that out of the way. The knife didn't drop yet. The knife dropped somewhere around here-ish. Okay, so it's dropped her. And, well, this kind of looks like the exact same thing as this one, isn't it? So, well, I'm guessing that means, um... Okay, whatever, let's just reenact. Here's exactly what happened. Exactly, are you sure? I think I'd better take one more look back at the case from the beginning. All right. Creak, 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 open the door. Brown, brown, brown. Last night, the killer went to the room Sayaka was in. In other words, my room. From what we can tell, Sayaka invited that person there intending to kill them. She attacked them with the knife she'd taken from the kitchen earlier. All right. Okay, I got that correctly. That's but good. Something happened that she wasn't prepared for. They grabbed the fake sword I put in my room and fought back. All right. During the struggle, a strike from the sword broke Sayaka's right wrist. Dun dun dun. And that's when she lost her grip on the kitchen knife. Act two. Finding herself cornered, Sayaka panicked and ran into the bathroom. The killer went after her, but couldn't get the bathroom door open. What they didn't know was that my bathroom door got stuck easily, and there was a trick to opening it. Sayaka knew about that because I told her, but of course the killer had no way of knowing. So instead, the killer forced the door open, took the kitchen knife, boom, boom. killed her, stabbed Sayaka. But with what strength she had remained, Sayaka left a dying message. To keep the killer from noticing, she wrote it on the wall behind her. All right. And with that, all her strength was gone. With Accurate. Sayaka dead, the killer quickly began destroying the evidence. First, they took off their shirt, which was covered in their victim's blood. Then they took the lint roller in my room and cleaned up the entire area. They wanted to make sure they got rid of any trace they'd ever been there. Can we check for fingerprints on the lint roller, by the way? No? Okay. Afterwards, the killer headed to the trash room to destroy their bloody shirt. They tried to burn the shirt using the incinerator there, but the trash room was blocked off by an especially sturdy gate, preventing access to the incinerator. So they came up with a plan to use Hero's crystal ball, which he'd left in the laundry room. The killer managed to throw the ball through the gap in the gate and hit the incinerator switch. For any normal person, that'd be an impossible throw. But the killer had the confidence to take a shot, and that's because the killer was the ultimate baseball star. crystal ball, thrown with absolute precision, hit the switch on the incinerator, which then quickly roared to life. Alright, I think we got all the uh, thing prop, uh, properly preserved. the final piece of evidence, they left the area with, I imagine, a sigh of relief. But there was one thing they missed. God, I can tell which one from top to bottom, right to left. Japan, you're weird. Okay. The killer didn't notice this. 
and so left behind a piece of indisputable evidence. Now, if, this is, if we're really trying to compare this to a comic book, wouldn't it be re read from left to right, not right to left? If so, then this should have been like making a style instead or something, but whatever, nitpick aside. Got it! Isn't that right, Leon? He could just easily say, no. <laughs> it would appear that Hero simply forgot his crystal ball in the laundry room. You went there to try and wash the blood out of your shirt. And that's where you saw it, right? Seeing the ball, you thought of a way to take care of everything. So, Leon, do you object to anything that's been said? Do I object? Hell yes, I object! Of course I do! I object, I object, I object! I mean, all of this is just a bunch of stupid theories! You need evidence! Where's the evidence? Without evidence, it's all bullshit! It's bullshit and I refuse to acknowledge it! Well then, I guess this is as good a time as any to present the evidence that proves you did it. Alright. I believe you're in possession of that evidence. Uh, did I? Did, am I? Am I? Hold on a fuck. Wait, let me see the evidence real quickly. Uh... Death of uh, struggle. Let's uh, uh, yeah. Uh, what was the evidence? The toolkit. This has been placed in Makoto's room before it arrived. It remains unopened. He. Yeah, that that's gonna be another problem. If he, if whether or not he brought his own tools, or if he used my tool. All the male students claim that they have used. They haven't used theirs either. But still. Okay, uh, Makoto's room, cleanliness, wrist, yeah. yeah, I think this is pretty fucking obvious, but again, uh, get your knife set. Uh, fuck me, okay. I have the evidence. Your first full time battle is about to begin, alright. Tell me. Sometimes, during a class trial, your opponent simply won't want to hear what you have to say. When this happens, you will engage them in a head-to-head -head battle. We like to refer to this as the bullet time battle, aka the BTP, by the way. <laughs> during the BTP, you want, to <clears throat> you want to destroy your opponent's statements in time with the rhythm. Stupid, are you kidding me? You lie! Where's your proof? Not a chance! It wasn't me! Are you kidding me? Okay. How does that work exactly, though? Match your button presses with each tempo marker as the- What the fuck? Is this a rhythm game now? What the fuck? Match your button presses with each tempo marker as they move across the screen and reach the center. You can also tap the button- Blah. <laughs> Tap or press the X button to lock onto the opponent's statement. Where is your proof? I am so confused. Destroy the statement you've locked on with the triangle as a temple marker reaches the center. So destroy that statement with triangle. Press X if you want to focus on that statement, I guess. You can also destroy- Fuck the tapping! Don't tell me that! Use this method to deal damage to your opponent. If you can't pull it off, you'll be the one in pain. Shit, okay. Do this consecutively and you'll start a combo. Keep this going and you'll initiate a tempo up. On the flip side, if you keep missing, you'll you'll get into a tempo down situation. When the tempo changes, so does the timing for each hitting each button or tapping the screen. So watch out for that. Is this a rhythm game or what? And deal enough damage to your opponent and their weak spot. I thought, what about the evidence thing? What the fuck does this have to... At that point, you can press the triangle button to shoot it down with a truth bullet. Like any other statement. Toolkit, okay. You can also t uh, shut up. Refuse their statement fast enough, and you'll become you'll come out victorious. But like before, your influence gauge reaches zero, and you'll run out, and you'll fail. Well, good luck and have fun. And I press square now. When the killer removed, I'm gonna save just in case. This is gonna be our final part for the. Oh fuck! I can't save. Oh, the game is crafty. I, de I indeed. All right then. Nice going, game. You actually prevented me from somewhat cheating. Alright, guys, thank you for. Uh, bleh, we're not ending this show yet, so stay tuned for the next episode of Danganronpa and stay tuned for the final judgment.